Hi guys, welcome back to our Explain channel. Today we will continue with topic DTS Monaco. We explain CBF and SMR file, how to import them and meaning behind this file. To use DTS, we first need to extract the fault log from Zentry. Details about the extraction will follow. To determine if the car uses CBF or SMR, SMRD, we check the model number using the fault log file. The database type depends entirely on the model. This is the VIN. The model is 213042 CBF projects in DTS Monaco or Vediamo are mainly used for older Mercedes-Benz models that don't use the latest electronic architecture. Newer Mercedes models, like the W223 or W206, require SMRD databases. Since this is a 213 model, it uses SMR. Select the corresponding file type, CBF or SMR here. Make sure to select the correct model, 213. Here at the bottom, select SMR instead of CBF. Select All. Wait for the loading process. Select the correct line, CBF, Top or SMR, Bottom. Only select one. Wait for it to load. The icon shows the connection status. Now the interface of the DTS Monaco software appear. But hold on, this video isn't over yet. Now let's take a look at how the file names of CBF or SMR files are written, because they actually tell you a lot of useful information. ALWRL2119.CBF This file belongs to the automatic headlamp leveling module, and the L218 indicates that it's from the Mercedes R218 platform, which means SL class. CR42 CBF This one is a seat control module, CR stands for Comfort Right Seat, and 42 represents the internal ECU version or vehicle series. Clamp 15.CBF. This one is a power management or ignition supply control unit. Clamp 15 is the Mercedes term for the ignition on power circuit. CR6EU5.CBF is a CBF connection file for the Comfort Right Seat Control Module, Generation 6, designed for Euro 5 Mercedes models. So generally, every CBF or SMR file follows this pattern, ECU abbreviation, plus model or version code, .CBF or .SMR. Understanding this will save you time and prevent mistakes when selecting files in DTS Monaco. Once it loads into DTS, the setup is complete. We have compiled our real-world knowledge and hands-on experience with DTS Monaco into a comprehensive book. The book DTS Monaco. Mercedes-Benz Diagnostics and Programming for Rookie is more than just a guide to reading CBF and SMR files. It walks you step-by-step -step through the most powerful features of DTS Monaco, including vehicle diagnostics, reading and clearing fault codes, performing variant coding, and carrying out flash programming. It also explains how to use seat calc effectively and provides practical instructions on using DTS Monaco for retrofitting and unlocking hidden features on Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Whether you are a beginner or already have some experience, this book gives you the detailed hands-on knowledge you need to master DTS Monaco in real workshop scenarios. That's the end of part 3 of our DTS Monaco tutorial. In our next video, we'll move on to one of the most essential tasks, how to read and clear fault codes and perform diagnostics with DTS Monaco. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.